Hello everybody, Vikingsman18 here back in WWE 2K15 2K Showcase. We are about to do the second match of Best Friends Better Enemies. It is Kane vs. Triple H in a casket match. After a four year absence, Shawn Michaels made an unprecedented return at SummerSlam to defeat Triple H. But the Heartbreak Kid's celebration was cut short by the vengeful Cerebral Assassin. The showstopper was forced to take time off due to injuries sustained from Triple H's heinous attack. But despite a humiliating loss, Triple H would soon have... Get shot! is a non-title casket match. Introducing first, from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 272 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Triple H! The game is on, but this is not a game the World Heavyweight Champion is ready to play. Yeah, and Triple H's security blanket, Rick Flair, is not here tonight. And making his way to the ring, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! Kane seemingly with a smile on his face. This match is right up his alley. Seemingly smiling? I can see the gap between his teeth. Sorry, had to listen to a little bit of that song. I used to love that song when Kane came out, ah, when Kane came out to it. This match is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this Ooh. broadcast. Into the tie-up. Who's going to get the upper hand? Earlier tonight, we saw Triple H telling whoever he was talking to. On All we got to do is seal him in the casket. I actually remember what happened in this match. It's very funny. guess is, Ric Flair. Where you see Triple H, the Nature Boy is sure to follow. Oh, man, what a shot. Can I not leave the room? Guess not. Oh, no. 
the shoulder, just glided into the ring post. And he's displaying tremendous viciousness. Oh, just oh his gosh, I love it. How the heck do I seal him in the casket? Into the collar and elbow tie up. Only one can come out ahead. You know, even I'm surprised that the Lynx Triple H has gone to to get inside Kane's head. Some of the things he's done this past few weeks have been pretty offensive. And the kicker of it all is that he knows they're offensive, but says he doesn't give a damn. He'll do what he wants when he wants. Well, at least he has some self awareness, King. I'm not sure that makes any of this better, though. It's obvious that I can't get outside the ring or anything right now, so I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Maybe just get a signature? Narrowly avoids the attack there. Watch it. Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. He's too what a counter. Come on. No breathing room for Kane. This is the first casket match on Monday Night Raw since 1999. How great is this, Cole? May 17, 1999. Undertaker defeated The Rock in a rare Raw casket match, thanks in part to Triple H's interference. Well, of course, who will ever forget after the match when Triple H took a sledgehammer to the casket, making it look like it was involved in a massive car wreck. Perform the choke song. Oh, oh, oh. And Kane looking to put Triple H away. Oh. Triple H though goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, yeah. And he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. And here he comes. That casket is open. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Who is in the casket? Shawn Michaels is in the casket. Heartbreak Kid was in the casket. HBK comes out of the casket to become Triple H's. Do the kick up. We haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam. Oh, he's back. And we know what it's time for. Tune up the band. Oh, look at this. Tune it up the band. Yeah, oh, sweet chin music. God, they even got his animations down perfectly. The show stopper to stop the show for Triple H. That's a good. <laughs> right now Kane Kane's brother the Undertaker undoubtedly has to be considered the master of the casket match yeah and you'd have to wonder if any of Undertaker's mastery has rubbed off on Kane I mean over the years we've seen Undertaker bury the absolute best in this type of match Yokozuna Kamala The Rock they all fell victim to the Undertaker and casket matches and let's not forget Triple H's opponent here tonight Undertaker and Kane squared off in a casket match right here on Monday Night Raw back in October of 1998. Wow! Down goes the game. Yeah, but I don't anticipate Triple H staying down for long, Cole. I don't know how I'm supposed to get him into the casket. Oh, it said roll. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save well, him. Well, I hit circle. And now back to his feet. Oh, now I know what to do. Triple H cannot be Kane in a fair fight. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save him. Dude, I'm hitting circle. Okay, maybe I just got to get his health down a little bit more. Oh, what you got in mind? Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. 
I'm not sure if he knows where he is right now. Uh-oh, trying to put him away. Oh, man! <laughs> that don't take the wind out of your sails. Kane is looking at this right now. Oh, my! This match is not over! Oh, it's Kane going to oh. take advantage! Oh, that's what I had to do. That's why I couldn't win the uh the little mini game. I didn't know I had to do the choke slam. It, I uh, I thought it counted when I did it the first time when the cutscene played. The big red monster, victorious with an assist from that man, Shawn Michaels. <laughs> They're doing all this perfectly. I can't believe they even have the animations down perfectly. Well, the game should have known it was coming. Shawn Michaels warned him. Some day, some time, some place. Now he's going to dance on the casket. Tonight was the night. And look at this. Shawn Michaels dancing on top of the casket that holds the body of Triple H. How symbolic. <laughs> that was good. After the attack at SummerSlam by Triple H, Shawn Michaels takes some time off the hill but tells Triple H HBK is coming back and somewhere down the line HBK is gonna get ya. HBK shows up and attacks Triple H costing him a casket match against Kane. Triple H calls out... Okay, we're not gonna start that part yet. Now if I hit just play match, we'll go back to that. Yes it will, okay. I'm always afraid I'm going to skip, like, dialogue. Well, the next match we'll have, guys, is Kane and Booker T versus Triple H and Chris Jericho. So, uh, that's that, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, and as always, I'll be seeing you for more later on.